Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm making salmon and potatoes in the Instant Pot. I'm being real here for a little bit. My house is a mess because we are moving. By the time this goes live, I will be getting in my moving truck and driving to California. So I live in Texas right now and we're driving all the way to Sacramento. So even though my life is crazy, my house is in shambles, I'm still using my Instant Pot. That's gonna be my very last thing I pack because I use it all the time. So I'm still trying to eat a little bit healthier. So we're doing salmon and potatoes right inside the Instant Pot. You get to cook them at the same time. So come with me as I head to the kitchen and let's get cooking. Now I highly suggest getting fresh salmon from the seafood counter. It makes it taste so much better. I don't love frozen salmon. So I'm first going to start with putting three or four chopped potatoes into my Instant Pot and then add one cup of water right on top. Now this little thing came with my Instant Pot so I'll put my salmon right on top. If you don't have one of those, you could put a piece of foil down and put your salmon on top of the foil. Now my salmon still has its skin on it so if I would do this again I would put foil down because it's stuck to my little thing. All right. So the things I like to add, I love garlic salt. So if you don't like garlic salt, you can use normal salt. Now this is Johnny seasoning. It's called lemon dill and it's so good. Another Johnny seasonings, Alaska salmon. I'm not a sponsor of them. I just really like their seasonings. Now if you don't have any fish seasonings, that's just fine. Garlic salt will still taste delicious. And of course, put it on sealing, not venting. Okay, I'm pushing the manual button and we're going down. Yes, I said down to only three minutes. Now I let it sit in there for five minutes after the three minutes was done and then I turned it to venting. Now just take the lid off and your salmon is done perfectly. Now once your salmon is to the side, let it cool for a minute before taking it off. Okay, so I push the saute button on my Instant Pot because I'm gonna make mashed potatoes. Now your potatoes should be done with that three minutes if you cut them small but because I'm making mashed potatoes, I want to cook them a little bit longer so they will mash easily. I sauteed them for about two minutes. Now I'm going to go drain the water from my potatoes. So to make my mashed potatoes, I'm adding one and a half tablespoons of butter. And then I also, like you know, love garlic salt. So I'm adding a little bit of garlic salt. You can add normal salt and pepper if you want, but... I love garlic salt. Now you can mash these with a spoon or you can even use a potato masher to make them even smoother. Or if you really wanted to make them creamy, go ahead and beat them with some beaters. But I like my potatoes a little bit chunky. And there you have it. Mashed potatoes with delicious salmon. Now that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Be sure to check me out every Monday because I'm sharing a new Instant Pot recipe with you. All right guys, see you later.